The horror gaming genre is in for a great year in 2023. We're getting a lot of highly anticipated sequels along with some games that can change the horror scene completely with the use of the new Unreal Engine 5. Now there are plenty of horror games to look forward to, however in this list I picked the ones that I think are the best as well as the ones that are likely or confirmed to release in 2023. Let's get straight into this list with one of the most iconic horror movie serial killers Leatherface in The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh my god! If you're a fan of the movies or just like the multiplayer horror games such as Dead by Daylight or Friday the 13th, this game is setting up to be a good one. It has been frequently compared to Friday the 13th, the game that released back in 2017, and of course what I believe to be the greatest multiplayer horror game of all time, Dead by Daylight. However, in this game, things are set up a bit differently. Texas Chainsaw Massacre will be played in a 4v3 scenario with 4 survivors and 3 serial killers from the Slaughterhouse family. The game is made to be exactly like the 1974 film, with characters and setting being taken directly from the movie. This will allow for a great immersive experience to both try to escape and also try to kill everything in sight as Leatherface himself. You'll be able to get your hands on this game as soon as May 25th, with the full release being marked as August 18th. It will be released on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Sorry to all the Switch mains out there, but a lot of the games on this list will not be on the Switch. Now moving on to number 4, we have Dead Island 2. Now I first saw the trailer for this game years ago and I hadn't heard anything about it for a few years. And finally it is here. Now if you played Dead Island 1, you're just as excited as I am. I really enjoyed the zombie experience and felt it was one of the best zombie games ever. This game had a great co-op mode that allowed you to enjoy its gameplay and story with friends. If you really enjoyed games such as Left 4 Dead or Back 4 Blood, I highly recommend that you try out this game and I think it'll provide a similar experience. If you haven't played the first Dead Island, I definitely recommend you go check that out and get ready for the sequel. It's been about 10 years since the game originally came out, and I would say it still would be considered a really great game today. The sequel will be taking place in Los Angeles, California, which I'm hoping it'll be just as good as the first one. You can access this game in less than a month on April 21st on all platforms except Switch again. Sorry guys. <sighs> Paranormal Tales this game has me extremely excited and I can't wait to experience this horror game for the first time. If you enjoyed the Paranormal Activity movie series, you should be really excited for this game. Although not directly based off the movies, the game puts you in the body cam of people who have gone missing. The camera perspectives will be built using Unreal Engine 5, which will allow for a never before seen immersion into something that will be very similar quality to a real camera. To quote them directly, the game is developed with a sense of hyper realism to create a visually stunning and memorable experience. Now I did try to avoid putting in games with unknown release dates, however as of now this one is estimated to be released in October of this year, but that can definitely be pushed back. If you want to stay updated on a possible release date, go ahead and go wishlist Paranormal Tales on Steam right now, or you can go ahead and go to their Discord which I will link in the description below. Also, while you're down there, to stay updated on these games in general, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for future updates as well as gameplay for these games. Now as far as I know, the game has only been announced on PC, but may come to consoles in the future. For number 2 on our list, we have The Day Before. This is another highly anticipated game that has been pushed back a lot, but finally has a release date for November 10th of this year. This game is an open world MMO set in a world festered with zombies as survivors try to kill each other for food, weapons, and cars, or work together, whatever suits you, I know what path I'll be taking. What makes this game especially exciting is that it'll also be using Unreal Engine 5. Once again, Unreal Engine 5 will be a huge step up in quality to what we've seen in the past. I imagine this game as a significantly higher quality and just all around better DayZ. You will be able to access this game on PlayStation and Xbox as well as Steam. Now a couple games I wanted to mention before we get to number one. First, Silent Hill. After many many years, Silent Hill is making its great return. The remake will likely be out this year, but I don't see the sequel aka Silent Hill F being released this year, but hopefully I'm wrong. A Silent Hill sequel is something I've been really looking forward to for a really long time. I was mad after we were robbed from receiving the full game for the Silent Hill PT demo back in 2014, but excited to see that they are back and will be dropping new projects, at least eventually. Another horror game to note, Amnesia the Bunker. This will be the fourth installment in the iconic Amnesia series. You can already expect to be able to play this on May 16th, 2023. Now number one on this list, Outlast Trials. You hide from me. Your new self. To this day, I consider Outlast to be one of the best horror games ever. Both the original and its sequel gaming experience I will never forget and wish I could recreate. This installment of the series will serve as a prequel to the other two games, putting players as the test subjects to participating in a dangerous Cold War era experiment. This game will take a pretty drastic departure away from the traditions it stuck to in the original games, with both a new co-op experience as well as the ability to fight back against the antagonist. 
You can expect to start playing the Early Access as soon as May 18th on both PlayStation and PC. As of now, there is no mark for an official release date, but I'm pretty sure the Early Access is just the actual game. Just, you know, they're going to be working on it still. But yeah, that'll do it for this list. Till next time, love you, see ya.